So these guys want to talk about J.K. Rowling. Is that so? What's going on with that? What do you want to know? Uh, she's she's had a pretty controversial past. I just want to know, like, what are your thoughts on it? Like, do you still like her work despite her uh, bigoted opinions? So let's get specific, though. Let's define bigoted opinions. What opinions are bigoted? We're going to treat this as a thought experiment. I'm not going to say yeah. what's right or wrong or what way to think. The whole point is to learn how to think, not what to think. Yeah. yeah. So when you say bigot, you, you're you're starting with the conclusion that. Given her bigoted opinions, yeah, so first her, uh, let's start with: Does she have bigoted opinions? So when you when you say bigoted opinions, she has had a history of being extremely transphobic. I've heard. Hey, you've heard. So what? Can you give me an example? Uh, if you look at her Twitter, I think uh, you can see a few things. Um, if you want, I could try and find. Yeah, see something. if you can find. See if you can find one. So, one of these tweets that she came up with in 2019, she said. Dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who will have you um, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for starting that, for stating that sex is real. So you find that bigoted? What do you find about it? Was, in there? It was deemed transphobic. I, like, I myself... Do you find that transphobic yourself? Uh... I don't really have an opinion on it, but I'm just going with what a lot of other people have said. So let's pause it. Let's not go with what other people are saying. Let's try and learn how to critically think. So let's analyze the tweet ourselves. So that statement, do you see anything problematic? Critical thinking skills not taught by our public or private education system or institutions. I don't know if they ever did, but they definitely don't now. But there has been a professor that's starting to make his rounds on YouTube that's trying to teach young people critical thinking skills, a lost art. So the video you probably already saw, or at least a portion of it, is basically him, I think, having a video call or a Skype or a face FaceTime with a student um, talking about how he thinks J.K. Rowling is transphobic and how, or how others think uh, J.K. Rowling is transphobic and this professor is basically, I think he's a professor, is basically trying to challenge the student how to critically think for himself. Let's try and learn how to critically think. So let's analyze the tweet ourselves. So that statement, do you see anything problematic? Disregarding other people's opinions. Um, if a woman says that, you know, saying that there's a difference between men and female and then being attacked as transphobic, I think that's what she's saying by attacking someone for stating that sex is real. That is exactly what she's saying. Is that I, transphobic to you? So, to me, no. Stating that sex is real is not transphobic. It's just a fact of life. It exists. So is there anything you disagree with in that tweet? Uh, in that tweet, I can't really see anything that I myself disagree with. There's an apology tweet. Um, she, let's read that. What did she say there? I haven't read that. I respect every trans person's right to live any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them. I'd march with you if you were discriminated against on the basis of being trans. At the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it is hateful to say so. Um, you see anything problematic there? She's apologizing, so no, not really. Um, if I if I could read it again, it sounds like a, the same, a very similar statement as what she was just saying. She's basically saying like, I have nothing. To me, this is what I interpret as I have nothing against someone being trans exactly. in your life, but you just don't get to impose on my. You can live how you want. I can live how I want. Yeah. And let's all you know. Exactly. So I guess now, so now that we're looking at it like, oh, there's not much difference between me or her. Do you, how? Why do you? Do you think it's fair that there's a that she's being attacked by a large group of people and people are calling her? Like you said at the beginning of this conversation, you said, given the fact that J.K. Rowling is transphobic, how do you feel about Harry Potter? Now, yeah. retroactively looking at that statement, do you think that that was the best way to phrase? No, I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> That's okay though, but this is why we do this to learn to yeah. learn how to think. There's know? been like a so in my class specifically, it's like in our class. Um, there's been quite a few people in there who have been saying like, oh, she's transphobic, she's transphobic. I've not, like, until today, I haven't really thought about it because I just believe like, oh, they, like, there's five people saying it. It, it must, must be, be correct. Yeah. 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 
That's interesting. That's great. I have literally almost had this exact same conversation with other people about JK Rowling, like almost exactly the same, and about other things where someone will swear to me that this is what they believe. Like, I had a conversation with someone about Trump years ago in, when I was staying in Sri Lanka, and she was like so adamant that Trump was this horrible racist bigot transphobic that he was worse than Hitler you know what I mean like she was literally turning beet red telling me this she was so emotional about it and I was just like no like no 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 like he's not he's not he's not and every story she would say well he said this about the Mexicans and he said this about the blacks and I would be like no that's not actually what he said and I would give her more or less what actually happened and I basically said look look just take 10 minutes, 20 minutes, a half an hour, and prove me wrong. Like, go Google whatever article, whatever quote, statement that Trump has said or what he's done that makes you believe that he is such a racist or such a horrible person. She did that. She went away for about 20 minutes, and then she came back and tried to change the subject. And then, sort of we talked a little bit. I said, look, I'm not trying to change your mind about Trump. That's not the per per uh, point, because I'm not a Trumper. I just, I just like the truth, right? And so I said, the point of this sort of exercise, I guess, was for you to come to a realization of why you felt so emotional, so emotionally invested, and, and so confident that you are right, where you personally, without looking it up, first of all, couldn't give me not one example for something you feel this strongly about. You couldn't give me one example, and then when you Googled it, you couldn't find anything on him. And she said, yeah, you're right. Like, it's really weird. She's like, I, I swear, like, I, I know that he said things and did this, but I couldn't find anything, and I can't think of anything. And I, should, I said that that should, that should kind of worry you, that because of hearsay that you've heard on social media and media that it can get it can make you feel so strongly about something where you don't even know why you feel that way you can't even vocalize it you can't even give me an example and then it was another conversation we had about like trans kids and i was saying like how like i'm so pro queer rights and and trans rights and gay rights like i'm queer myself i have gay family members i've marched in pride i'm very supportive of gay marriage and all that stuff but i just don't think like three-year-olds five-year-olds 11 year olds 12 year olds 15 year olds should be able to choose their gender i just don't think their brain is developed enough to make that lifelong decision and she was like wow like it's really like like and this is she wasn't mocking me like she was really kind of flabbergasted that like sh that I could support gay rights but also have this other belief when it comes to trans kids like she had never heard of that like she thought you had to be full on this or anti that like she had never she didn't know that you can be nuanced on this subject and she's a very young person I think she was still in university so this is this tells you like what how the university's kids are being taught but when it comes to this JK Rowling um, argument I literally I was in India and I was talking to a, a uni girl she was in university and she was going on and on and on about how JK Rowling was transphobic and I said well what did JK Rowling say that's transphobic what did she do she said well she tweeted some transphobic stuff and I said okay well what's your tweet she couldn't tell me she had no idea she was like I don't know I just know that she tweeted something transphobic because all the other people on Twitter said it was transphobic and I'm like but what do you think and she didn't even know what the tweet was she didn't even know what it was consistent of but she had this strong again emotional reaction and so confident but she didn't even know what the tweet was and so when i told her what the tweet was is basically uh jk Rowling saying something about women's bathrooms or something like that basically what this professor already stated and i said do you think that's transphobic and she was like well no but i'm sure it has to be because everyone else says it is like no critical thinking skills not being able to think for yourself and unfortunately this does not just rely or reside on the left 
resides on the right and I don't even think it's a generational thing anymore so many people don't think for themselves and being on YouTube has proven more of that to me than ever people are a lot of followers people are just want to find someone that says the things they want to hear and just agree with them a lot of people don't think for themselves a lot of people want to follow like they want they have a need to follow maybe this is a human nature thing where it's like I need to find a leader to follow I'm not like that and and it's not me boasting who my ego or who I am but I've just never been like that and I don't really understand it like even if I like someone and even if I think they say good things if they say bad th things I don't agree with it's very easy for me just to say like yeah I think that's problematic and I don't I don't agree with those things it's very hard for people to say that about the people that idolize because I think we have this weird binary non-critical thinking culture where it's like black or white anyway I'm digressing a little bit off the argument but I'm glad that this professor is doing this apparently he was like attacked like online recently like people trying to bring his channel down or fuck up the fuck up the algorithm for his channel so that's it that's all i wanted to say i don't think the public education or private or universities are there to help you learn how to critically think i don't think a lot of people are really around to teach you how to critically think even your favorite mentors i think people just want you to think how they want you to think and i think people want you to see the world how they want you to see the world and you have make your perception their own and maybe i'm a youth guilty of that too i don't know but uh you guys let me know what you guys think of this whole jk rowling thing um in the comment section below please like comment and subscribe hit the bell to get to notifications when i do upload all that really does help with the algorithm guys you can donate um my paypal and cash app link is in the description box below you can also super thanks and you guys have an amazing beautiful day bye so these guys want to talk about jk rowling is, is that so what's going on with that what do you want to know uh she's she's had a pretty controversial past